the spherical chain shop is back and he's had several relatives work in the pinball industry, which is why he brought with them today Pinball Hall of Fame, the Gottlieb Collection for your PlayStation 2. Let's go ahead and take Pinball Hall of Fame, the Gottlieb Collection, pop it in my PS2 and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Pinball Hall of Fame. Pinball Hall of Fame, the Gottlieb Collection was published by Crave Entertainment and developed by Farsight Studios, who began with such titles as Art Alive on the Sega Genesis and Color a Dinosaur on the NES. After Pinball Hall of Fame, the Gottlieb Collection, Farsight would continue to develop more video pinball games, including the Pinball Arcade, which appeared on some current consoles. Pinball Hall of Fame The Gottlieb Collection was released as a $20 budget title and according to MobyGames.com debuted in November of 2004. The back of the box says the following, relive the days when the pinball table was king, but play like you have unlimited quarters. Pinball Hall of Fame resurrects seven of Gottlieb's greatest pinball machines spanning the 60 years of arcade pinball's golden age. Recreated in a stunning 3D environment, the gameplay visuals and sound effects are so authentic you'll feel like you're in a real arcade. Pinball Hall of Fame The Gottlieb Collection is a video pinball game collection of seven Gottlieb pinball tables. For the basic controls, L1 and R1 operate the left and right flippers, square changes the ball design, circle changes the camera angle, triangle turns on and off the score display, the right analog stick pulls and releases the plunger, and the left analog stick bumps the table. The oldest standard pinball table is 1957's Ace High, where draining your ball in the correct lane can help increase certain bumpers to 100,000 points in value, helping you rack up big scores. Next is 1966 Central Park, where you try to clear numbers, and every 100 points, you'll hear the monkey ring a bell, although you won't see it. 1974's Big Shot is next, a pool-centric game where clearing out all the salads or stripes can open the door for future bonuses. Next, we have 1979's Genie, which features an upper play field and multiple ways to increase the bonus. 1981's Black Hole, which features a special lower playfield and some truly atmospheric sound effects, is the next table. This is probably the most popular table in the collection. The next game is 1987's Victory, where you complete certain objectives to finish a race. This one surprised me and ended up being one of my favorites in the whole collection. The final table is 1993's Teed Off a golf-themed pinball table with a Caddyshack-style gopher that on the original table, they actually had a moving gopher on the top, which is not replicated here. There are also three unlockable machines, a love tester, a fortune teller named Zoltan, which may remind you of the movie Big, and a 1932 early flipperless pinball table named Playboy that has nothing to do with the magazine of the same name. In it, you launch 10 balls and earn points by landing on various playing cards. In addition to the three machines, you can unlock other features like custom balls, a tournament mode, which features lower pinball tournament style scoring, a photo tour of the old Gottlieb factory, and a payout mode where you can earn and lose money playing Playboy using either blackjack or poker style rules. There are two ways to unlock an unlockable. One is inputting a three-letter combination, which is widely available with a quick Google search. The other is meeting a table goal. Each pinball table has one, and they're usually pretty difficult to pull off. For instance, in Playboy, the table goal is scoring 2,600 points and hitting the only joker on the table. Doing so, in this case, would unlock the Gottlieb Factory Photo Tour. In the options menu, you could choose three or five balls and turn on or off the vibrations, autosave, and change the value. There are also some unlockable options. Each table has a menu screen where you can see the goal, go to the options, and view the instructions, history, or flyer on that specific table. The instructions narrate how to play the table, including activating various bonuses, and is pretty well done for the most part. If you get a high score, you can enter your initials. Graphically speaking, I thought the game looked pretty good and did a solid job replicating the look of the original tables. The sound not only did a good job replicating the table sounds, but also provides some good arcade style background noise. Family friendly wise, the game received an E for everyone rating when it was released. Currently at PriceTrying.com, the game has a value of $4 loose, $4 complete, and $8 new. So what do I think of Pinball Hall of Fame The Gottlieb Collection? 
as a video pinball nut, this is both a great compilation and a historic one as it really opened the door for future video pinball tables based on real life counterparts for modern systems. The controls, graphics, and sounds are well done and I love the inclusion of both the table histories and narrated instructions, but not all is perfect. Having to go back to the table menu if you don't have credits is an unnecessary pain. Sometimes I wish there was a few extra camera angles. The Love Machine and Zoltan don't really add much. Some of the table goals are insanely hard. The tilt is very touchy. A couple of times my ball moved into an area it should not have been able to. And sometimes my game froze, which may be blamed on the cheaper quality DVD discs they used to make this budget game. But all complaints aside, I really, really enjoyed this game and highly recommend video pinball fans check it out if they haven't already. Usually I rank the game against other games for the same system, but for compilations, since they contain multiple games, or in this case, multiple pinball tables, I use my four tiered scale, which going from best to worst includes Hall of Fame, Solid, Meh, and Trash. I came close to giving this a Hall of Fame rating since I enjoy playing it so much, but some of the flaws do take it down a notch, so I'm giving this one a solid rating. Pinball Hall of Fame The Gottlieb Collection for the PlayStation 2 is highly recommended to video pinball fans who don't already have another version of this collection. But that's just what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on the Twitter, join the Discord, and support the show at patreon.com slash gamer and click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day. I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of The Nosewear Gamer. Take care and go play some victory.